Hello, in this EPSXE Android video, I'm going to show you how to connect up your PS4 controller. So you can do this wired or wireless. Wireless is definitely the easiest and best way to go for a mobile device. And it is because you can't like directly plug it into your device if you would use wire. You need to use something like an OTG cable or adapter. Feel free to use that. That's fine. But like otherwise, you'll need to go wireless. So wireless is best. So yeah, it's built in regular Bluetooth, which is which means we're all good to go. So to do it, just go to your settings, go to connections, Bluetooth. I'm on a Galaxy for old free. And if you're on another Samsung phone, you'll probably find this interface pretty similar. Even if you're on any other Android, you should be fine and should be all good to go. But if you have any questions, feel free to, you know, ask, you know, I'll help you out. From here, we just need to put our controller into pairing mode. To do that, you press the share button and the PlayStation button. And this works for PS4 and PS5 controllers. So this is the same for both of them. So you press share and PlayStation button at the same time and the light will start flashing. Lights flashing now, click scan, and in available devices, click wireless controller. The light on your controller will turn solid once we have clicked pair, and mine has turned blue. And I'm actually, you know, moving around in the menu using my controller now, which is pretty cool. And if we go to EPSXE, go to preferences, go to input preferences. From here, obviously you can have, you know, multi-tap mode, and that's great for wireless controllers because you can have four wireless controllers if you wanted you can go to player one two three or four that's fine doesn't really matter go to player one and you can select the type of device select gamepad and for me uh if you don't have it it'll look like that a wireless controller touchpad if it's slightly different the code's slightly different that's fine click that and now obviously i'm going to enable vibration that might be disabled by default but i will enable it and by default, it does a great job of mapping the controls one to one. But if you want to override the mapping, let's say you want to put the D-pad on the analog stick, the you know face buttons on the you know L1, L2, R2, and uh, you know uh, and L2 buttons. Don't know why you would. If you want to, you just click it, and let's say you click you know up, and now you press something on your key on your controller. I'm gonna press X, and it detects that. I'm gonna go back to up. And that's how I want it. So feel free to map the other like left up as well. So you can you know do that for the D-pad, which is pretty cool that you can map that as well. And if I go back, we can map the axes. Again, this already gets mapped automatically. And honestly, you don't need to be messing with this stuff. You can even map the L2 and R2 buttons to a certain axis if you really want to as well. You can chain the dead zones. If you have a controller that has more of a dead zone, you can change the analog range so it's more square or circular and the sensitivity and you can you know test it out as well so i'm using the left analog stick now the right one and and now i'm using the r2 now r2 and that's it and i'm just pressing other random buttons as well so uh, I've just gone back and that's really, there's not much more to it than that. You can have a look at these other settings, but that's really it. And that's, there's not, not much, not much more to it than that. So what we'll do, we'll go on to, we'll go back, go back again, go run game. And now we can actually play a game with our controller. He's owning me. Okay, so that is it. I'm gonna just end the game right here. That's how you connect up your, you know, PlayStation 4 or PS5 controller to your Android device so you can play on the EPSXE emulator, which is a PS1 emulator. Any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. And if you like the video, give it a like and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching and let me know what else you would like to see. Bye bye.